What's going on guys? So today we're looking at a little bit of Victorinox history with a very rare Victorinox knife. This is the Duchess on top here, also known as the dog bone. I'm pretty sure dog bone was the slang uh, term for it because of how the uh, handles are shaped, very similar to a dog bone. But I do believe that Victorinox actually named this model the Duchess. Uh, there was a couple versions of this. There was one in stainless steel. There was one in silver Alex. Uh, which is of course aluminum oxide or just aluminum and there's this one here that has the red aluminum handles as far as i know this is the first knife in victorinox history to have aluminum handles which is pretty interesting very very rare model underneath i have what we know today as the sac classic or swiss army knife classic all right houses the same tools with the addition of the uh, toothpick and tweezers this knife also um, was available with or without the keyring all right, so of course you see this one has a little keyring attachment. This one does not, but there were versions that did have it. So I'm back the camera out a little bit here. All right, we're talking about it a little bit more. So this is one of the knives I got from useknives.com. All right, very, very fascinating. The original purpose for this handle shape was that you don't have to use your fingernail. Okay, so of course it's extremely old. I don't actually know when these first hit the market. I do know that it's pre-1970s. All right, because eventually this uh, changed the model to what we know as the Companion, which came out in the 70s. This was, uh, you know, there way before the Companion. So it could be as old as 1910, could be, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, don't really know. Uh, I'm going to have to do some more research on that. I do believe that uh, Victorinox has their own books as far as, you know, dating and, and collectability of their different knives. I don't have any of those books yet. I'll have to add those to the library. Um, I've always loved Victorinox knives. Um, you know, as far as knife collecting goes, there's people who just collect these knives. There's just so many different patterns, you know, over a hundred years, obviously, of uh, knife making. So there's a lot to collect out there. It's just really interesting. It is to date the oldest and rarest uh, Victorinox knife that I have in my collection. So again, instead of having to use your fingernails, you can just pinch because there's so much of that tool exposed. So we have a pen blade on one side. All right, on the back of it, actually, it's hiding. I grab both of them. Is the uh, the nail file slash uh, fingernail cleaner? All right, and then on the other side, again, don't have to use the fingernail. You can just pinch it. We have those uh, scissors. All right, so same tools as today's Sac Classic. A little pen blade, our nail file, and of course, the other side, the scissors. Now I've also seen this uh, Duchess model or dog bone model. Uh, where it did not have the scissors. I don't believe there's a different name for it. It's just a different variant where it's just the knife and the nail file, but there's one tool on either side. All right. So yeah, just pretty interesting. Now if I come in a little closer, you can see the shield is also different. All right, centered on the tool. Just a very simple circle and plus. All right. If I open the uh, main blade and I do a, a zoom in so we can look at the markings on this. Of course, we have the classic Victorinox Switzerland stainless Ross free, but on the back, this says Victoria, all right, with the little umbrella. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a very basic knife. It's a very, very old Victorinox model. They are rare, but they do pop up occasionally. As far as pricing on these, they range, I mean, it's it's kind of all over the place. I've seen these sold as high as four to $500 for pristine ones. Um, most times you see these around the $150 mark uh, just because of the rarity. Um, and like I said, there's a couple different versions of it. So pretty interesting knife. Let me know down in the comment section if you have a Duchess or dog bone, as well as if you happen to know when they first hit the market. Like I said, I have to do some more research myself on that. I have plenty of knife books, um, so I have to kind of scour through them and see what uh, what they say about Victorinox specifically, as far as different older models and stuff. Like I said, I've always had a fascination uh, with Swiss Army knives. I've loved multi-tools in general, but I've never focused specifically on them as collectibles. You know, I've gotten older models before, discontinued models, I've enjoyed them, I've used them but never saw them really as collectibles until now. Like I said, it could be just a, a very focused part of knife collecting. You know, there are people out there that only collect Swiss Army knives. So we'll take a look at this one more time before I go. Again, very thin aluminum handle scales, pin construction, there's four pins that hold it together. 
all right just really simple but with the added bonus that you don't need to have to use that uh, nail neck you can just pinch those tools out so again because it's such an older model there's a lot of hearsay you know what I mean uh, apparently it was supposed to be uh, brought to the market for people who have arthritis or people who have problems using you know fine detail with their fingers uh, who knows maybe you just cut your fingernails so small that it's just hard to get those tools out either way everyone can agree you know pinching the tools out is a lot easier than having to use the tip of your your fingernail for them so it's just a cool idea I kind of wish they'd bring this back in some form and maybe they did you know I know a lot about knives but I don't know everything I'm constantly learning about things so anyway, I thought that was very fascinating and wanted to share with you guys. So again, down in the comments section, let me know, do you have a duchess or dog bone? And if you do, do you use it or is it just a collectible? As uh, rare as these are, it's still an awesome little tool. So that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.